Radical. Welcome to part one of Radical Rapid Fire. Comment response for February 14th through February 20th, 2022. Short comments, quick replies. Restaurant 97, thanks for showing me this. Now I know why some ads are different than others. Yeah, I revealed basically that I have the minimalist ads. About the least ads you can actually have on your YouTube channel. Now, some people can actually add mid-rolls. Uh, I do like the skippable. You can actually have it not skippable. There's a lot of different options you, you have that YouTube gives you as a partner. And like I said, I do the minimal skippable. Some people I've seen actually do the unskippable and they do the mid-rolls and they do the cards. There's a lot of different stuff you could actually pack in there. But I don't do the overlay displays. I don't do the mid-rolls. Uh, there was a short period of time, though, actually, I believe YouTube was actually trying to, uh, Art might remember this, that YouTube was actually trying to force mid-rolls, and they kind of made it, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I actually had to go into my settings and cut off mid-rolls. So yeah, if anyone ever sees a mid-roll on one of my uploads, let me know in the comment section down below. That's probably just YouTube trying to, you know, do YouTube things. I know mid-rolls just kind of, they annoy me because once I start an upload, the mid-roll just kind of like takes me right out of it. Ruby Hernandez. I'm a Chiefs fan and I seriously believe he threw the game. Glad I'm not the only one and will never watch football. Again, at least not the same again. Uh, yeah, it's that moment when you realize that something is not exactly on the level it could be football, it could be wrestling, pro wrestling, but everyone pretty much knows that pro wrestling is fake nowadays, could be a YouTube channel. There's been many people through the years, people have come by and said, you know, Rick, I didn't know that was a fake YouTuber acting fake, you know, doing the clickbait, actually acting angry when they're not, like an angry Joe. So many people have told me through the years, Ruby Hernandez, when it comes to YouTubers, that I've actually opened their eyes, not only on things like e-banking, but... Uh, you know, fake YouTubers. G Guru One, the system wasn't an investment scam. They honestly intended and believed they would bring the system to market. Once they mismanaged it straight into the depths of hell, and they were desperate to salvage things, then it turned into a scam. I would say there's three different sets of people. G Guru One, about the Intellivision Amico. There's people that one believe it was always a scam. You know, it was a slow scam from the beginning to the end right now, which we're getting into the end. Then there's people that believed it was never a scam and it's not an investment scam right now, that everything's on the level. Uh, those we would call the Amico cultist are just, well, let's call them stupid. And I would say probably most people believe that there was actually an intention. And, you know, I, I get people that believe different things and whatnot between the two. There's a lot of people that believe, I would say most people that... Tommy and the gang intended to actually release and have a successful console, but at some point, maybe early on, maybe years down the line, it's crazy we're talking about years now, that they decided that, hey, hey you know what, it's not going to be successful, especially against the Switch and the competition, but we can actually just uh, go ahead and keep doing these GoFundMes and get a lot of money. Michael Jarvis, aka Sleepy Jarvis, Literally, no flags until it was clear the Rams were about to lose. Face palm. And the blatant face mask on Ramsey, but no flag to let the Bengals score on the first play of the second half. It was so rigged. Well, a lot of people will point to that face mask that was not called. And I say to that, you know what? Maybe they were just lazy. Maybe they missed that call. Okay, possibly. Or maybe they let it go because they needed that play to happen. They needed that play to happen to kind of keep the game kind of close but yeah it's it's very clear at the end of a game if you see four calls at the end of a game to help hold the hand of a team going into the end zone versus what two calls the entire game then clearly there's something up it was uh, pretty obvious to me at least Leston Davies I had a competition in my kitchen yesterday. I made toast. My son made toast. My toast was better. Now I'm world champion. Okay, I don't know if you're the world champion of toast. All right, I can make some pretty good toast when I want to. Um, it seems more of a random thing. I'm not sure. 
uh, if you were having a toast competition, like what would be your parameters for a toast competition? I wonder, you know, the less amount of scrapes to scrape the hard stuff off before you eat. Uh, would it be possibly, I don't know. I mean, whatever it is, I'd like to have the best toaster or would that play a role? But yeah, you know what? Your toast was better, but your son's going to grow strong one day. And his toasting abilities will out-toast you. You'll be toast, Leston Davies. Jag Channel. Imagine if the nerd interacted with Ronnie the Skeleton and Devil Boars. Okay, I did a search for Devil Boars. I didn't see anything. I did a search for Ronnie the Skeleton, and there was an upload from a year ago where Irate Gamer uh, was Ronnie the Skeleton, and then there was a family of skeletons. For 2011, I mean, not that bad of an upload when you look at it, right? Nowadays, you see all kind of stuff like that. But not a bad effort for a decade ago. Now, if the nerd interacted with Ryan the Skeleton, let's say uh, the Glitch Gremlin, and well, you know, I, I don't know what's with the characters, but just AVG and himself, maybe having a fight with Ryan the Skeleton and uh, you know, Devil, I don't know much about Devil Boars, but that wasn't what it could and should be the irate gamer AVGN crossover because, well, none of the characters crossed over. I mean, they weren't in the same place. Maybe if they do like a sequel in the future, maybe we might get uh, some of the nerd characters and, uh, you know, some of the irate gamer characters, but I don't really see any of that on the horizon. Unless you've heard something I haven't. Mr. Lone Wolf, I found it to be too predictable, to be honest. I told someone at work, watch how the other team will make a miraculous comeback, and lo and behold, I called it. Starting to wonder if the whole movie basketball might have predicted the future of sports. I haven't seen the movie basketball. Maybe I need to see the movie basketball if it actually predicts the future of a lot of sports. Um, when it comes to uh, the miraculous comeback, they can happen in sports. Sure, sure, it can happen. But not multiple times in a playoffs. Not multiple times, because then you start getting into it, you're looking into it like, okay... For instance, perfect example, the typical Brady comeback, okay? With typical Brady comeback, as if Tom Brady's just waiting until the end of the game to actually just remind himself, oh, wait, oh, yeah, it's part of the script. I have to have the typical comeback. You ever stop to think, okay, if it's typical and they expect it, then maybe it's part of their character, the Tom Brady character created in uh, 2001 by the way Tosin started not quite as rigged as Kim Jong Il's miracle round of 38 under par but a good little back and forth chess match between the players and officials talking about a Super Bowl compared to the rigging of Kim Jong Il's miracle round of 38 okay that's little Kim and then there's a uh, new Kim but this was uh, back when I think he was 52 I want to say I looked it up. A miracle round of 38 under par. I don't know much about golf, but I know that's pretty damn near impossible to have a 38 under par. And here's what's impressive. Kim Jong-il, <laughs> here's what's impressive. That was his first time ever playing golf. First time ever playing golf, 11 holes in one. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? One other thing about Kim Jong-il was apparently he was uh, walking at three weeks old and talking at eight weeks old. Wow. It's, uh, it's a shame. It's a shame he's no longer with us. Truly, the greatest man that ever lived. MBK, silent. Thing is, I'm in the NFC North. I've watched Stafford play when he was with the Lions. He is not Super Bowl material. Players don't change overnight like that. I don't know if they want him to be the new Brady because of his looks, but man, he is not all-star QB material in my opinion. Yeah, you know, kind of, kind of weird, MBK silent. Not a lot of homely quarterbacks. Not a lot of homely... <laughs> you know, that's my homely sound. I know it's a look, but that's my homely sound. Uh, you know, Brady, uh, Mahomes. You know, a lot of these people seem like they was pre-selected, though, because they're just very handsome people, right? If you wonder what how that is, you know, very handsome people in sports nowadays... Um, you see that guy for the Bengals, he, come on, he's really not that good. Um, Stafford with the Lions. No, I agree. He was not Super Bowl material. Like he magically left the Lions and now it's Super Stafford. He goes Super Saiyan. I, I just don't believe that. Yeah. 
The Wind Avenger. I'll take baseball over football any day of the week. The Super Bowl has become the laughing stock of the sport world. When it comes to baseball, I like the baseball games. I would say, well, it's hard to say on the games. But I would say probably the baseball games, a little funner to play from what I remember, like the classics like RBI Baseball and was a Super Innings. I just like a lot of the 8 and 16-bit uh, baseball ROMs unrelated. Uh, I just can't get into watching baseball, though. Maybe I could try, but when it comes to watching, I no longer watch the NFL after, you know, realizing the course is rigged. Um, I enjoy watching uh, basketball, uh, maybe, maybe some hockey, but I got to be in the mood for hockey. Don't watch soccer. Um, I don't know. Like what, what, uh, what do y'all like to watch as far as sports? Everybody you know, leave it in the comment section down below what you like to watch. CAWF video game wrestling. I'm thinking the Mike drama from last year might've been more between Mike and James rather than Mike and Screenway because Mike still does a show with Ryan. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to speak to that because, I mean, quite honestly, I can only kind of guess. And I don't know about the personal relationship between Mike and James. Okay, that's, you know, between them. Uh, but I will say he seems like he's having a lot of fun with Ryan. And Mike and Ryan, from what I've seen, is a superior, far superior, whatever it's called, than Mike and James. James Rolfe is... It's not his best when he's playing games with Mike. Because, I mean, well, sometimes he even, like, falls asleep. He doesn't really care that much about video games. He's not interested in that. But, you know, with Mike and Ryan, hey, they're really interested in video games. You slot a lot of different people in there with Mike, and it'd be a for superior show. Maybe some people don't want to hear that. Maybe some people are just desperately wanting Mike and James to get back together. But, I mean, was it really that great, though? I mean, the, the Mike and James Mondays, was it really that great? Or was it just people really wanted to see James in general? 